Hey guys, so I'm having an issue with my door handle. This door handle is stuck and uh, it won't do anything. You know, even if I try to open it, it won't do anything. If, if I try to push it, it won't do anything. So I'm kind of stuck and uh, not sure what, why exactly this is happening. Here's my son. Hi. So, um, you know, I, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna be going over, kind of educating you guys, you know, uh, how we can go ahead and fix this issue. And uh, of course, I'm not gonna fix it myself. I'll be honest with you. You know, but I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, hardware types and, and what, what types of hardware that there are existing, what issues that you may have on this handle. So stay tuned and we'll get into the details. So before we get into the repair video, one thing I want to talk to you guys about is the door handles. So as I told you, I can open this one from inside. I can open it from outside. Um, one of the things about these door handles, a lot of people are having issues um, and one of the main issues is, you know, either the door handle gets stuck inside flush that you cannot open it. You know, even if you press on it, it won't open uh, or it gets stuck in this open position. So there is a there is a gear inside and there are mi micro switches, uh, you know, that basically fail, which won't let you either open it or get stuck uh, closed, you know, so. Even if you press on it, it won't, the motor won't let it come out, you know. So it's a pretty common failure. Now, one thing I do want you guys to know uh, in these Model S, there are different revisions of the hardware. That's how Tesla does their stuff, you know. Um, the very early versions was 1.0. Uh, that's the hardware part uh, of this. Then they came up with 1.5 where they made some improvement uh, in 1.0. They were having a lot of micro switch failures then they came up with 1.5 uh, that also had its own issues uh, there were gears that were failing um, so that was another issue then they came up with 2.0 so i have a 17 2017 uh, this is a 2017 model and what they did was in 2017 it was all 2.0 i'm not sure if 16 had 2.0s handles or not but 17 did you know now if you have a 2.0 handle, that's a much, much, much better um, handle and less chance of it failing. So 2.0, great. If you have a 2.0, you might not have a lot of failures. You know, I did have a 2.0 and I did had a failure on the uh, front one of it getting stuck outside, not inside. So that's a different type of failure. Um, when the guy came from Tesla, very nice guy, very knowledgeable. One thing he told me was uh, all my door handles are 2.0, which is a better deal for me. But the one he installed by replacing mine is a 3.0. So they have a 3.0 version, which is a much better version than the 2.0 and 1.5 and 1, of course. So we'll see how the uh, other one lasts me. Um, so I'm going to be in this video. I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, we'll walk you through the troubles that I had. So let's take a look at the troubles that I had and how the guy fixed it. So just want to show you real quick, you know, these are these micro switches that normally fail. And uh, this is the motor connector. Um, you know, they sometimes pinch, the wires get pinched and uh, things like that, you know. But uh, if you have to really replace it, you know, this whole kit comes in as a one pack. So you have to replace that entire thing. And this is what the guy did, you know, he just replaced that entire module. Okay, so the Tesla guy is here and uh, he's making the repairs right now. He opened up the entire front part and, uh, you know, just removing it and uh, replacing the entire kit. But I like their service, you know, this is, uh, this is a great service that they come ho at home and uh, replace the whole thing. So we'll see how it goes, you know, once he's done with the repair. Um, you know, I'll try to capture as much as I can, but, uh, uh, you know, there's only limited things. I, I don't want to get in his way and... Uh, disturb him so let's see how it goes he is inside now you can see he's installing the actual module you know he had to remove the entire module and uh, the one that I showed you guys before uh, so that's yeah. the only way you guys can really get it fixed you know just get the entire module okay so here you can see the problem is fixed I'm gonna go ahead and lock it mm, it's going in a smooth and once I unlock it it should come right back open so I think I'm very glad and happy that it got resolved, you know, I didn't need to take the car 
to the dealership or anything. So hopefully you guys like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel, like the video.